Hey, happy, happy, no, I was starting to say happy birthday. It's not happy birthday. We do have a birthday coming on Sunday, but it's not today. Happy day five of the 10 day challenge. And today you get to take a long peek into my refrigerator, my freezer, my pantry, both of my pantries. And we're going to go through and I'm gonna just kind of walk you through the things that we have and um, it, we've got two teenagers still in the house. So we definitely have foods that could be and have been tempting for us. Um, but um, most of the time we're able to um, completely avoid them. And when we don't avoid them, we certainly, or if I'm tracking, um, I certainly put it in my tracker and um, make it count towards my macros. So day five of the challenge is for you to create a healthy grocery list with a balance of uh, fats, good carbs, which are the complex carbs, and lean protein. Now hopefully this will be helpful and not completely boring, which is why I wanted to give you the task in the beginning so that you don't have to wait until the end. Um, if it's boring, you can just cut out and I'll understand. Hopefully it's, it'll be helpful for um, some of you. Hi Marilyn and Marge, thank you for being here. Um, as always, if you have questions along the way, post them and I'll try to keep track of it. Um, it might be a little awkward because it's I have never done a live where I need like to move around and to show you things. So not sure exactly what the best thing is yet, if it's like this angle or if it's better for me to hold the phone and go around and talk about it, so we'll see. So Marilyn and Marge, you tell me as we get started, so we're gonna start, um, we'll start with the freezer because um, might as well. So I'm going to, let me immerse just this. I'm going to just hold up some things um, everything really um, that's any, I mean, I won't do like, now I'm doing it, but like if I have hamburger buns in here um, because we had a hamburger cookout last week or so and we had these left over and I give them to my dogs with their medicine. So that's that. Um, let's see, I wish I still had the box to this. So I get these egg uh, white spinach frittatas from uh, Costco. They come like this. They're just like these little mini um, crustless quiche and pop them in the microwave for about 30 seconds, 30 or 45 seconds um, in the plastic wrap and voila, uh, a really healthy, good balanced um, breakfast. My grandson eats those a lot. Um, I just picked up these today at the grocery store, one of my favorites sweet potato puffs. I have these. I put them in the air fryer, cook them for a few minutes. They're really tasty. I got these for the rest of the family for when we um, need potato, whatever, um, hash browns. Just got those today. Here's a good find at Costco. Chicken sausage. So I, um, we definitely eat turkey sausage. It's okay. Um, I actually like the chicken sausage better. We just got this oh, a week or so ago, um, like I said, at Costco. So the, I like that. I have this um, a lot of times for my first meal of the day with eggs and a vegetable. Um, the other things in here is just a, some cheese and some of my favorite chicken tenders um, or tenderloins that I get from Costco that come in a big pack. I also have the cauliflower rice that I eat from time to time and then I also have some da okay. <laughs> some daily harvest um, things like there's this one that's activated breakfast that all you do is you open it and um, you can see, see in there. It's like all good stuff, and I'm gonna just hold this up so you can kind of see the, the hopefully it's, it is backwards, isn't it? Um, see the ingredient list, so this, you just would add almond milk to it, 
and let it sit in the refrigerator overnight and then the next day you have really good overnight oats. Um, they have all flavors, all kinds of flavors. They have smoothies. This is a chocolate and blueberry smoothie. And this one, you would put it in a blender. You can see the fresh blueberries here. You put it in a blender and with um, your favorite milk, I usually do almond milk, and just um, blend it until it's the consistency you want. And it ends up being like the consistency of a frozen yogurt. Um, see, again, that's from Daily Harvest. They have some really good flavors and products. Um, I've got just some random frozen vegetables um, that I just have on for emergency. I don't really like um, frozen vegetables, but I have it sometimes. Um, are the chicken links mild? Let me see. They're a little spicy, but I don't think they are... Um, they're not advertised as spicy, so I, I wouldn't say that. I feed them to my grandson, who is 15 months, so they're not so spicy that he can't eat them. I would say they're flavorful and not spicy. Uh, let's see, up here I have more Daily Harvest, and this is a really good find. So. I get these from Costco and they're so much more cost efficient at Costco because you can get this big thing and I can't remember how much they are, maybe $10 actually. So they're $10 at Costco and um, they are like made from fresh zucchini and carrots and they literally taste like blueberry muffins. Can't really see right here, but I love them. My grandson likes them. Everybody in the house actually likes them. All right, next up, one of my, another one of my favorites, cauliflower crust pizza from that I also get from Costco. And I am not a huge cauliflower crust pizza person. I had a friend who made her own a while back and we were somewhere and she was heating it in the microwave and it smelled like cauliflower and I really don't like cauliflower very much. I don't mind the rice, if, you know, if it's with something else. But this, my husband eats it and can't even tell it's cauliflower crust. So definitely good. Um, it has roasted um, vegetables on it, like roasted peppers. Uh, let's see, onions and cheese and zucchini. Super, super yummy. And uh, it, all the macros are pretty good. All right, so that's basically it in my freezer. So give me a thumbs up if you're able, if that went well, I'll continue the same kind of pattern in the refrigerator. If you're able to see it well, um, if you can't, let me know. All right, now, no um, judgment on how my refrigerator is not very clean, but let's see, I'm gonna make sure that you can see. Okay, I'm just gonna go through this because some of this is like super um, standard, you know, garlic and, I've got, I keep um, coconut water. I got some at Costco last time, it was on sale. Um, I really like it every now and then, so I, I enjoy that. Dressings, of course, condiments. Um, here is one of our staples that we always have at some um, form or another are the big um, salad kits from Costco. Love, love, love these. Make it super easy, this is a, um, a broccoli, I mean Brussels sprouts and a broccoli. Just kind of everything is shredded in here. It has seven superfoods. Um, I try to have a salad at least once a day just because of the superfood quality that it has. Um, this is the peanut butter that I absolutely love and I'm sorry that I don't have a full one, um, but I get the, the all natural, the one that um, the grocery store makes there. Um, it is more expensive. I'm the only one that eats it though, and it lasts for a good while, so I don't mind spending money on it. The, I, the um, processed peanut butter now just tastes way too sugary to me. Of course, we have um, strawberries, 
Um, I have some ricotta cheese back there that I bought a while back for something and never used it. Um, I have some cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese and um, scrambled eggs or by itself. Tomatoes just because um, it's good. I did get pick up a couple of these today just because I'm in a cottage cheese mood and saw an advertisement for this with the cottage cheese and fruit. So I just got a couple to try and have fun with. Um, some more buns and lettuce. Eggs, I go, we go through eggs like crazy. Let me just adjust this just a little bit. Uh, let's see, hummus. I love hummus. Typically, I, I've been in the mood for the sweet hummus, but today I got taco inspired hummus. So I haven't had that one before. Um, I'll show you in the pantry. I eat it with rice crackers. Um, I have some almond crackers right now that I'll be eating it with. Um, these, this is just our leftovers from vegetables the other night. Um, spinach, I love sauteed spinach. Um, most of the time I have sauteed spinach with eggs in the mornings. Um, orange juice for Ian really loves it. It was on sale so I grabbed it. Pickles the kids like. Um, cheese just because when and the kids like it um, with quesadillas. Then, you know, just the normal stuff, broccoli. Um, bell peppers, carrots for my horses. I try to keep um, avocado in the fridge um, just because I absolutely love um, avocado. Um, and then down here, just yeah, I've got cucumber, zucchini, and then just a typical sandwich meat for the kids or whoever wants to eat it. My husband likes sandwiches. I don't particularly like sandwiches. And then I always have almond milk. Um, for the occasional, sometimes I'll make chocolate milk actually, like once every three weeks I'll have a little thing of chocolate milk and I use almond milk for it. Of course the kids drink <clears throat> the 1% milk and then just some condiments. So there's my fridge. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go to the um, pantry. That's where I'm wondering if it's better for me to hold it or have it like this. Is anyone, can anyone tell me if it's better this view or if I should hold it up close? What do you, you won't be able to see me, you'll just be able to see the food. What do you think? Hmm? Give me a thumbs up if you want this view. All right, I'm gonna be moving if, all right, now give me a thumbs up if you want. Okay, you can see fine Janice, all right. Oh, let me just pause here. This is where our fresh fruit is. And we had some trail mix the other day, so that's left over that people are snacking on. I got some bread today. I don't get this every time we go to the store, but it was on sale. I was really looking for sourdough bread but they didn't have any, so I just grabbed that, it was on sale. And then we typically, this time of year, always have the cutie oranges and apples and always have bananas. All right, this is our pantry. It's not the best pantry in the world, but it works. All right, let's see. Hmm. Um, I am... You know what, I think I am going to change it just so that you can peruse through here and I don't have to pick everything up. So I'm going to switch the camera view. All right, now, <laughs> hope you don't get seasick here. All right, let's start at the bottom. Um, and some things are just obvious. I mean, this is Nesquik that Ian loves. Here is a um, a protein shake that I really like a lot. It's just pricey, and so um, I don't get it. I was going through um, a time when I was like really going low carb. My husband was doing trying keto, and I tried for like two days, and so we had this. I literally have like one scoop left um, 
but that is good if you want to go really low carb that's a I, that's a good one sugar this was from from thanksgiving when i sent ian to the store to get a little sugar for something that i was making and he came back with this huge lifetime supply for us um, hot chocolate we have during the the winter um, and then just normal kid stuff this is the the protein shake that my husband drinks or mixes it's really high calorie um, it's made to do three scoops I think at a time four scoops for one serving and so you see it's 750 calories um, but he does like one or two scoops but anyway that's <clears throat> good for the guys when they're trying to gain some muscle um, the rest of this shelf that's marshmallows and cranberries left over from my daughter's wedding recently balance shakes um, not shakes shots that have half a serving of um, vegetable fruits and vegetables for the day so they're always good to have an, on hand I tend to drink more of those during the summer <clears throat> and then here's our just our kind of supplement shelf so I got these protein bars I always think that oh I want protein bar but once I get them they're not all that great but they've been here for a little while um, a Lara bar back there um, and then just my favorite BCAs that came in as a sample but I always get it this is my collagen that I add in my drinks every day and here we have um, some of the vital proteins collagen that's strawberry lemon and this is BCAAs that I was drinking last year it just has it's a really good value first of all um, get it from Amazon at a good price but it has a very vitamin vitamin taste um, so we really need to use it though it's probably about half full and then of course all of my ideal lean I just got a shipment in yesterday so I'm pretty stocked up some of my favorite flavors um, this is the nighttime protein and then all these other BCAs this is my pre-workout that I take before I work out or when I wake up and then this part of the shelves are the junk food for the kids this isn't this is what I have every now and then I forgot why I bought that the other day I think we were out of town or something but um, Brett's been helping me with these I've got candy bars in here left over from my daughter's wedding that the kids have been eating then I love pancakes and so I kind of get a mixture sometimes of the healthy and the not quite so healthy the Kodak Kodiak cakes um, are awesome they are protein packed they taste great they're good pretty good for you and then pop tarts for the kids um, some little thing that my husband got for the kids the other day that's some kind of junk food stuff and I bought this a while back I still haven't made it so that's healthy um, simple meals I you'll see I've got some of their snacks yeah I've got their snacks up there so that's that shelf and then we come up here I hope this isn't too boring for you I hope it's helpful um, this is trash that I meant to throw away earlier don't you love it when people leave trash in the pantry um, so these this is our oats sometimes we go through oatmeal phase not really in it right now if you haven't I told you I love pancakes right if you haven't tried these pancakes they're really amazing um, I don't really eat paleo but these pancakes um, both of them are really good uh, then just some craisins of course peanut butter that the kids and my husband eat the um, syrup I typically only have butter on my pancakes but I have the sugar-free 
light, and I think this is regular. Oh no, it's light variety. And then, of course, still cut oats sometimes. Hey, Denise, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you. <laughs> All right, now here's some just some snacks that um, that's every now and then I have. So I got these Triscuits today. It was on sale. And almond flour crackers, um, another su Simple Mills product. Oh, yeah, Gabe would be a good idea, good thing for... Pancakes. I really don't need uh, the sugar on it. I just like the butter taste on it. But yeah. Um, so the almond crackers are really good. And then I got these today um, that were on sale. I did a taste test on that. That was pretty good. Love, love, love the rice crackers for... Um, avocado and guacamole and then some baby stuff from my grandson left over um, then back here is just kind of like the normal seasoning stuff salad dressings and put that back down there and then um, just a few cans of stuff this is our we always have peanuts this is our kind of source for for cans um, Spaghetti sauce. I just do regular spaghetti sauce. The kids, well, Ariana likes the tuna, so I get that for her. And these vegetables are for my grandson. And then on the top shelf is just your basic, just um, spices and oils. I do a lot of cooking with olive oil. And then back here is some of um every now and then i have we have rice pilaf um here's some quinoa pasta that ian likes to make um back over there some more quinoa uh angel hair i typically like to get the protein plus angel hair and if you haven't tried any of these like veggie um, pastas they're definitely worth it um, really can't tell a lot of difference in terms of taste once you have the um, your sauce or whatever on it and then of course pretzel crisps that I got a while back at Costco which we haven't eaten as much as I thought that we were going to all right let's see Dennis I mean Denise sorry Denise, which crackers do you think is best low calories? You can have more than one, not feel guilty. Rice crackers. Rice crackers are pretty dang good. Let's see. So, as you can see, you can, get, you can have 13 crackers for 120 calories, um, only 25 grams of carbs, <clears throat> which really isn't that much when you're doing a regular carb day which is probably you know around 150 a day and compare that to the Triscuits where you can have six crackers for 120 calories for 20 grams of carbs so just to compare the Triscuits with the rice crackers you can see that um, the rice crackers are better let's see what the almonds are the almond crackers Um, so, uh, you know, it's a give or take. There are fewer carbs, but a little bit more calories. You have 16, but the almond crackers are, are small. They're like this size. They're like a little bit bigger than a quarter. Whereas the, uh, the right, these rice crackers are about the size of a 50 cent piece. So they're not that much bigger than almond crackers. And then of course, you know, that Triscuits are pretty big and filling, you know, um, Typically, I will probably grab three or four Triscuits, and that's all I need. Okay, let's, would you believe I have another pantry? <laughs> I have a pantry that um, stores my extra, extra stuff in that's in our bedroom. Not in our bedroom, in a guest room, bedroom. And this is kind of messy. So up above is 
just kind of from some food storage that we have. But uh, so the barbecue sauce, salad dressing, canned chicken that we got last year when our power, we were thinking that we were going to lose power. Um, spam for the same reason. And so we just kind of kept it for food storage, Ritz crackers, um, Rice Krispie treats. I think both of those. I know the treat, the Rice Krispie treats are from my leftover from my daughter's wedding. Um, more of those balance shots I was telling you about, and then just some extra stuff of a lot of stuff that we have already in there: oats and peanuts. This is some um, thin cookies that we got. I think last year from Costco that no one's eaten. More crackers, peanuts, oats peanut butter you can see a pattern we're not super fancy with what we have um and then this is what i really want to show you i love 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 this so super easy to go in the microwave for dinner um this one bag will feed all the four of us um, we put it in there for 90 seconds and i love having i make a bowl with it i put my favorite is roasted asparagus with um, turkey bacon, um, roasted onions, and I'm trying to think if there's any other roasted. I mean, you could put any roasted vegetable in it. It just makes a really good bowl. My husband likes it too. And then you see more um, protein shake.